Welcome to the third part of this tutorial on buffer calculations. So the first part uh, was calculating the pH of a buffer, then uh, adding some HCl and calculating the new pH. And this part, we're going to compare that with adding HCl to water. So in the first part, we calculated 4.75 as the uh, buffer pH. Then that went down to 4.66 when we added some acid. And then in this third part, we're going to add the same amount of acid, 10 centimeter cubed of one mole per decimeter cubed HCl. But this time we're going to add it to one decimeter cubed of water and uh, find out what the pH change will be. And we're going to assume that the pH of, of the water at this temperature is 7. So in diagrammatic form, 10 centimeters cubed of uh, one mole per decimeter cubed HCl, that's going to go into one decimeter cubed of water. So we can work out the amount of H plus, uh, conch times volume over a thousand gives 0 0.01 moles of H plus. So to work out the concentration, we're going to use that amount and then the total volume of water is going to be a thousand centimeters cubed for the one decimeter cubed here originally. Then we added 10 centimeter cubed of the uh, HCl, that small amount, so it gives you just over a decimeter cubed, 1,010 centimeter cubed. So to work out the H plus concentration amount divided by volume, and that comes out as 9.9 .9 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per decimeter cubed. So to work out the pH, then we do uh, pH is equal to minus log of H plus concentration, so minus log of 9.90 .9 times 10 to the minus 3, which gives a value of 2. So if we uh, compare that to uh, the buffer. We saw in the buffer that went down just slightly from 4.75 to 4.66, but with water, for the same amount of H+, that would go right down from 7 to 2. So uh, this is a demonstration of how buffers resist change in pH on addition of a small amount of acid. Okay, thanks for listening. Uh, good luck with your studies.